always a lot of competition out here. Tony Bufamani is going to be fast. Ben Croslin's really fast all weekend, so should be a pretty interesting race. Had a disappointing qualifying. Um, they actually run a fast time, but unfortunately, because we only had a 15 minute qualifier, we chose to put in a little bit less uh, fuel percentage. At the end of qualifying, we was on the front row and very excited, but in impound, we found out that we was a pound light. Unfortunately, we're gonna be starting the race today from the back of the field. Going into turn one is uh, obviously a classic overtaking uh, place here at Miller Motorsports Park. It's fast, it's uh, easily 130 going into that corner. You're going to go down a couple of gears. And so I can imagine that uh, Jason and I might be leaning on each other going down there, uh, whether it's the start or later in the race, who knows. But uh, I know he wants to win the championship pretty bad. We certainly want it bad for Capaldi Racing, so we're going we're gonna to do whatever it takes. We're here at Miller Motorsports Park, and we're ready to see these Mustangs fired up on the track. The most heated battle going into today's race is between Jason Von Kluge and Tony Buffamonti. They're going in with their points all tied up, and whoever finishes ahead today will have the advantage for tomorrow's Mustang Challenge finale. The pace car is in, and the green flag is out. They're racing to the line. Buffamonti and Von Kluge are neck and neck down the straightaway. Looks like Buffamonti is having some trouble, and Von Kluge is able to pull ahead along with Pratt Cole and Kyle Gimple. That puts Buffamonti in at fourth. Let's go on board here with Crosland. He's doing some amazing driving in between the line and the first corner. He's actually worked his way from 20th all the way up to 10th. This may be his home track, but that's still bloody amazing. Also, take a look at that crack that's forming on the left-hand side of his windshield. If that goes, it doesn't matter how well he's driving, he's going to be out of the race. Here we are on car number 34, Splitter, and he's making the pass on Kyle Gimple, and he completes it. That puts him in third place. Here we are with Ben Croslin, and he's putting the moves on Andrew Hendricks in the number 68 car. And he completes the pass. We're 1 minute 24 seconds into the race, and Crosland has gone from 20th to 8th place. Buffmani is now right on the tail of Pratt Cole. He's working really hard to get back up through the pack. If Buffmani finishes behind Jason in this race, then it will give Jason advantage going into the finale tomorrow. Whoa, it looks like Jason is throwing out some roadblocks. Tony's completed the pass on Pratt Cole, which puts him in second place, right behind Von Kluge. The only question is, will he be able to beat the Baron to the line? We're back in car with Ben Croslin. He's turning out to be the real star of the show. He's putting the moves on Mike McGovern. He's having a little bit of a struggle making it stick, but it looks like it's going to work out. Seven minutes and 34 seconds into this race, and Ben Croslin has moved from 20th place all the way up to 6th. Well, it looks like there's no stopping Ben Croslin today. He's pulling the moves on Dan Oweda here. 16 minutes and 40 seconds into the race, Croslin takes 5th place. Our current race leader is Jason Moncluge in the number 19 car, followed by the 34 car of Tony Buffmani. Third place is Pratt Cole in the number 88 car, and fourth place is Kyle Gimple in the 81 car. Watch out, Kyle. Looks like Ben Croslin is eyeing your position there. He's going for an inside pass, and he completes it. That puts him in at fourth place. I think Ben Croslin is doing some of the best driving of his life right now. It just goes to show you, folks, that if you want to showcase your talent, the Mustang Challenge is definitely the place to race. Pratt Cole and Ben Croslin are side by side across the line and down. And it looks like he's just going to be able to take third place away from Pratt Cole. You know, Ben Croslin is driving an amazing race right now, but it really wouldn't have been possible unless RP Motorsports hadn't given him the perfect car to race today. Well, it looks like Ben Croslin isn't the only young guy trying to make moves up the pack today. That puts Kyle Gimple up into third place as he just completed a pass on Pratt Cole. Okay, we've got about 15 minutes left in this 45 minute time race and we've got Crosson right on the bumper of Tony Buffamani trying to make the pass, fighting with him and completing it. I'm not gonna lie folks, this is about the best Mustang Challenge driving I have seen to date. Let's look a little bit further down the path. We've got Pratt Cole running in fifth, Dan Awaita is running in sixth, Mike McGovern is seventh and Andrew Hendricks is eighth. There's the white flag, that means this is the last lap of the race. Von Kluge had better drive a perfect lap or Crosson is gonna catch him and take first. The other driver to watch right now is Tony Buffamani. If Jason Von Kluge maintains his two-car lead, it means Tony will need to finish at least three cars ahead of Von Kluge if he wants to win the championship at tomorrow's finale, which happens right here at Miller Motorsports Park. The checkered flag is out, and it's Von Kluge across the line, followed by Crossland and Tony Buffamani. We'll see you over in victory lane.
start on the pole, I couldn't ask for anything more. That's exactly where I wanted to be. And uh, you know, Tony was right there on the start and leaned on me a little bit and uh, ended up ended up getting away from him, you know. Just kept pushing for a long time, was a little worried about fuel, so I eased up a little bit and uh, you know the car was just there for me the whole time. Big thanks to uh, Varsity Ford and Green Filters and Steeda, because uh, here we go. I qualified second, then we were weighing myself in tech, and I was a pound off, so they sent me to the back of the pack. I just kept gaining cars as the race went on and got up to second, so I'm really happy. Uh, tough day for the 34 Capaldi racing entry. Uh, started outside pole, uh, had got a halfway decent start, and then we were leaning on each other a little bit, and I missed fourth gear, so uh, all of a sudden a uh, few of them got by me. I uh, was able to make quick work of a couple of them, get back to second behind Jason, but just didn't have the pace for him today. He and Ben were, uh, were the class of the field, so congratulations to those guys. Uh, one more race to go, so we're not going to give up, that's for sure. We'll look at it tonight, see if we can make some changes, and uh, see if we can get the 34 back on the top step of the podium tomorrow. Uh, as I came around the last turn, I saw that my mom was up on the stand waving the checkered flag, and that was, that was really neat. I'd, I'd like to say thanks to all the people at BF Goodrich and Ford Racing and Mustang Challenge for their participation, and also to the competitors. Thank you. This weekend, we really needed to be ahead of the number 19 car. It's unfortunate we got down to the last race and uh, being this close in points, we were hoping to have a little bit of an edge coming into this last race, but things happen and our, our luck hit us this year. Uh, we came in tied and uh, we got one more race tomorrow, so we're not done yet. We got the best driver in the series with us, Tony, and we got the best crew guys, so we're not giving up yet.